All right. Flying Eagles taking on Burkina Faso in the Waffle Zone B on the 20 tournament. Flying Eagles playing their second match of the tournament, while Burkina Faso playing their first since there are only three teams in the group. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And I'm going to start by saying both teams are wearing white. Somebody didn't get the memo that they were not wearing white today. And that's just what happened. Both teams ended up coming out and playing the first half in white. And we move on. Flying Eagles on the ball. Oh, nice one time pass right there and he gets it to Ibrahim Muhammad who heads it forward to Adams Olubi but his shot goes off target and the linesman had his flag up for offside anyway just slightly really really close one right there but it didn't matter he missed the shot and Ibrahim Yahaya standing over a free kick puts it into the area his teammate missed it and it's cleared out by a Burkina Bay defender and that chance goes away and this was a great opportunity for the flying Eagles Samson Lawal made his way into the box and had a great opportunity almost at the penalty spot but played his shot wide and really onto his teammate and the ball went out of bounds chance goes away and we have Ibrahim Muhammad on the ball tries to put in a cross but it turned into a shot and went off the upright and into the goalkeeper and into the net just ping ball in three places right there and He's not going to get the goal, but the goal is going to count. As you see, the goalkeeper totally misjudged the ball, and it went off the upright and into him, then into the back of the net. The Flying Eagles from then must have smelled blood because they kept on piling on the pressure, just that their finishing was not adequate enough. Like this one going wide, a shot from just inside the box goes wide off target again flying eagles on the ball makes their way into the box a nice cross that got past defender and goalkeeper but Ibrahim Yahaya reached the ball at a tight angle. His shot was cleared off the line, but it didn't go any farther than Olubi, who took his own shot that was just wide off target. Next, Augustin Njoku receives the ball back after a throw in, crosses it into the area. Olubi gets his foot on it, but his volley went over the bar. Nathaniel Wosu goes out for a corner kick, misses it, but luckily the header goes just wide and that chance goes away as you see went for the ball, missed it, but lucky for him the header was also missed. Next up a chance for Burkina Faso, Musa Kai rises up and heads the corner kick on target right at goalkeeper Nathaniel Wosu, but take nothing away from the guy getting up and getting to the ball. Two players right there open for the header. Next, we move to the second half and a contentious moment in the 57th minute. A penalty called against Oluwatosu Adegbite and honestly, in my opinion, did not look like one, but I've been wrong plenty of times before, so it's up to y'all. It seemed to me like he blocked the ball before the shot was taken and the player kind of sold it right there, but I might be wrong. The video is not all the way clear. But in my opinion, I don't think he did anything wrong. His studs were not showing. He blocked the shot. But that's not what the referee thought. He pointed to the spot. And Burkina Faso had a chance to tie up the match. And so they did. Abdel Zagre sending Nathaniel Wosu the wrong way. And the score, Flying Eagles of Nigeria won. Burkina Faso won. Next, we move to a crazy sequence of events. First, we have Ahmed Abdullahi coming into the game for Adam Solubi. And right after that substitution, a free kick was taken and goalkeeper Philip Mare comes out and fouls Ahmed Abdullahi according to the referee. In my opinion, he had every right to go for that ball. I might be wrong. I'm not a FIFA badge referee. But in my opinion, I felt like he had every right to go for this ball right here. He crashes into Ahmed Abdullahi. A foul is called against uh, Burkina Faso. And the Flying Eagles had a chance to take the lead in the match. Yes, he had a little bit of force into it. But in my opinion, that's just what goalkeepers do. And up stepped Ibrahim Yahaya to take the penalty. And he sent the goalkeeper the wrong way also and made the score. Flying Eagles of Nigeria 2, Burkina Faso 1. Less than five minutes later, things went from good to absolutely scary for the Flying Eagles. Ahmed Abdullahi, who just came into the game, the player who was fouled on the penalty, 
went down after the water break not sure exactly why he went down might have been some after effect from the blow to the head that he received from the goalkeeper either way he was treated by the flying eagles medical staff alongside with some medical people from the niger republic those guys are definitely the heroes and they must be commended for the good job they did as you see the ambulance arrived and he was rushed to the hospital wishing ahmed abdullahi the quickest of recoveries hopefully it's nothing that serious and he could be back in action in this tournament once the game was gotten back on the way it was Burkina Faso who got back to life the ball fell kindly for Yakuba Kunate and he made a delicious move to take out two defenders and a, a real pass to set up Kalu Siriake and he slammed the ball into the back of the net and that made the score of Flying Eagles of Nigeria too Burkina Faso too and as you see right here Kunate gets the ball two defenders out the way that pass is just unreal and the finish also nice finish there for Kalu Siriake just slams the ball past the goalkeeper Netanyahu and Wosu had absolutely no chance and that's how the match ended with four points in two matches the Flying Eagles sit at top of group B definitely proceed to the next round of the competition but they will have to wait till Ghana take on Burkina Faso to know exactly what position they're going into the semi-final at. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.